Hello dear colleagues, I hope you all are fine and I hope everything great for you. Welcome to Civil Curious channel and another tutorial about push hour curve or capacity curve. As you can remember uh, in the last session we called that the capacity curve is the curve that we can extract some useful characteristic of our system such as stiffness and uh, period, displacement, nonlinearity, ductility and etc. You know but uh, in this session we're going to deep into this uh, issue and uh, study more about that. Suppose that we have a five-story building. I'm gonna draw that here. I apologize, maybe it's not too good. You know, an earthquake occurs in our system. This is earthquake. And because of this excitation of earthquake, every story got definite acceleration. You know, but we can model this acceleration. Uh, and to engineering that or simplify that, we evaluate that acceleration with forces in this uh in every uh, let me get back in every story you know this is f1 f2 f3 and f4 you know we evaluate the earthquake as a forces you know this is the thing that uh is a curve in reality but what is pushover what is pushover curve you know but uh, to simplify that to model that in the pushover analysis we just push our building or our system let me draw that draw our system again this is the same system but there is not any earthquake here. We just push our system. You know, and this push uh, will lead to forces in every story. And some of these uh, forces will uh, be lead to base shear here. We call it base shear. Now, in the pushover curve, we read this base shear load versus displacement of system, because in the pushover, our system will this uh, will show displacement of it itself. Let me draw that for you. This is the deformation. Of our system after pushover, you know. In the pushover loading, we increase our load step by step. You see, when the amount of load is when the amount of load is low, we put somewhere here in this in our. Let me throw that again in our pushover curve that we call it elastic area and uh, in every step our load will be increased and here we have uh, much loading that uh, the first hinge occurs that we have here the elastoplastic region the first hinge occurs in this point you know and as we say in the last session this is the re-hardening of our system re-hardening of our system and uh, here our system bear so much displacement you know 
And that continues until this point that our system uh, uh, is going to lose uh, the strength of itself. And in this point, our structure totally collapsed. That was the best shear versus displacement curve that we call that pushover curve. Now let me uh, learn you the performance level of pushover curve. In the performance-based design, we have four major uh, performance level that we call that let me go to another page that we call them right here IO LS and CP IO means immediate occupancy that shows the little displacement, little nonlinearity in earthquake or seismic loading, that which is used for hospital, you know, and the damage in our system is very low, as you can see. But in the life safety, the displacement or damage of our system in nonlinearity is greater, and you can see the high amount of damage in our system which is used in a residential building. And uh, here, immediate occupancy is used for hospital or other building that the employer want us to design that for IO, you know, because of personal reasons. The CP is collapse prevention. Our system beard very much displacement, beard very damaged, you know, and we don't like it. We don't design any, any building for collapse prevention because it's really risky and dangerous. Look at this damage in the system. This building uh, can't be used anymore and uh, bird and uh, has been burned very very displacement and damage we don't dis uh, we don't design any building for collapse prevention you know that was our tutorial everybody for this session i hope you all enjoy that and i hope to i hope you to learn uh, completely the capacity curve or pushover curve but in the next part uh, we learn and i teach you more about this curve i hope you all enjoy it and if you like it please subscribe the channel to motivate me to create more videos for you thank you everybody thank you very much